What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back and today we need to be making some progress here on the Noob's Guide character. Uh, there's not a whole lot at this point that I feel like I need to go into too much detail on. Um, obviously, I will interrupt at different points to go over different things from time to time, but I feel like overall... We just need to get some progression done. We need to progress the story and do stuff like that. I guess it's not the story, it's the kill quest. We need to progress the kill quest in order to uh, level up and get to a more stable point. Because right now we're, we're only level 23 on this character. Because obviously we've had other editions of the new guide that haven't all been just straight um, progression. We've had videos going over the store and going over gear and all of that different stuff so hopefully in this episode we can make some very good progress i will talk about a couple of things real quick so we did complete a couple of black spirit things off camera i accidentally pulled that up and just grabbed them real quick when i was checking the central market i ran back to grab my family fame fund and so I did grab that, so obviously always remember to grab your family f fame fund every day. It does stack, so not too big of a deal if you forget it one day, or if you don't log on. It will stack up and get, allow you to redeem it at a later point. Challenge rewards, we will grab our loyalty, and we will go ahead and finally throw on this gear. I'm going to give up on the bonus and take the extra DP at this point. As well as that, let's go ahead and grab our two uh, expansion slots, both singular expansion slots. And I think it's time, actually we got a double expansion slot. I think it's time to just grind progression and I will interrupt at different points. I think I'll just come in and out. Um, I don't think I need to fast forward. It's going to be a lot of just doing this, the quest, the kill quest. So if you did the same path as me, that's what we're going to be doing in this episode. I'll interrupt at various points, tell you where I am and uh, how you can know exactly where we are in the story when I interrupt. I think that works out fairly well for this. We just need to progress the noobs guide uh, and uh, we'll, uh, uh, like I said, I'll just interrupt with different uh, tips and stuff that you need to know along progressing because we need to get, we need to get on our horse and get moving here and, um, yeah, I think, I think it's just progression time. But I'll interrupt and let you guys know any side quests and any other video, or other, other video, other um, things that you need to know throughout the video, essentially. That's going to be the entire video today. So I will catch you guys in a moment uh, with either side quests or a tip. All right, so this is a quest I've seen people have a little bit of issues with. So we are on unreliable comrades here in the swamp. It's a defeat Swamp Nagas, defeat Swamp Axemen, and then talk to the Stranded Soldiers. To talk to the Stranded Soldiers, all you have to do is come over to this ladder right here. I'll give a little bit better perspective once I go up here and talk. I gotta make sure I don't die, because there is a million enemies down there smacking me. And right up here is the Stranded Soldiers. So you can go ahead and talk to them, and they'll give you the defeat Swamp Nagas and Swamp Axemen quest, as well as I can complete this uh, Black Spirit quest that I had. So now you're just going to want to jump back down. I would suggest jumping instead of doing the ladder because these guys will still be down here waiting for you. And so you can clear them out. So for perspective, let me give you perspective for where uh, where I am. If you come over here, let's see if I can move. Come over here. Right here is the center island that you revolve around. Right here is the area with all of the... Um, with the main kind of area of enemies. And then right over there is the um, NPC area or the town, I guess. Not really town, but the like NPC area, I guess is the best way to describe it. Right here is the NPC area. Can, if we continue this way right here, um, it's going to turn us into the back to the main area where like the guy with the, the bomb is and all of that different stuff. He's right here. So all you got to do is go over here. And uh, you're at the Swamp Nagas, and you go up that ladder, and that's where they are. I have seen some people have a little bit of issue with that, so I thought I would mention it. So I'm going to go ahead and slaughter some Nagas, and I'll see you guys in a moment with some uh, more discussion. All right, guys, so we are at the next location now. We are at uh, Southwestern Gateway here, just southwest of Galish. And what you're going to want to do here is first interact with Xavier Vitello here. He's going to tell you to go talk to Monocue, which is the general goods vendor here. 
Real quick before we talk to them, we're going to throw on our exquisite Naga ear accessory over one of our uh, binder earrings. Uh, and that will increase us a little bit, as well as I'm going to pop this, the uh, New Adventure Travel Kit. I uh, hadn't popped that yet, so do pop that, and then go ahead and pop the level 10 achievement box. It's going to give you the level 20 achievement and pat the power box, so go ahead and pop that, as well as pop um, the level 20 uh, la, la, achievement box. It's going to give you various different stuff, like the Karlstein set, which lasts for 15 days, two expansion, good feed it's going to give you the pet the event pet cuckoo and uh smooth milk tea i don't actually need cuckoo so i'm not going to redeem him just yet once we get to level 30 we'll pop these and go over that uh you don't get anything too major in these so far the adventurer shoes are decent but not necessary uh there's not a whole lot of super important stuff but what you want to do here at uh, min monique is talk to them that'll allow you to talk to the main guy over there as well as sell some of the extra stuff that you have that you no longer need uh just to clear up a little bit of space so that you can pick up more stuff you won't have too much stuff to sell but the binder stuff you can definitely sell because you can't sell it on the marketplace i always get rid of the santana's firefly because i never use that stuff so it's easier for me to just get rid of it the smooth milk tea is really good uh gives plus eight percent combat xp uh and so it's always nice to have those on you for purchase so now would be the opportunity if you wanted to to upgrade your potions from small to medium um i just wait until i get, can get large or extra large but this would be a potential spot that you could go ahead and upgrade your uh potions so this is um you can now talk to xavier vitello complete that quest and get your next main quest to kill bush spiders uh also when you talk to him go ahead and use your energy up on this stuff so that you can obviously uh learn about the location and learn some stuff next you want to grab this side quest why the sticky cobwebs it's gonna give you two gold bars for just killing bush spiders which you're already going to have to do Next is kind of a little bit of a hidden quest. Uh, hidden quest. You're going to want to come over here and go up these stairs. This really long spiral staircase up to the top here and talk to this soldier. He's going to have two quests for you. They're not anything too magnificent, uh, but they allow you to get some magical gems or magical stones and a little bit of XP for stuff you're already going to do anyway, which is kill bush spiders and learn about bush spiders. So now we're going to go ahead and go kill bush spiders so that this video is just not me running around doing quests or showing you quests. Let's go ahead and actually I'll show you, I'll show myself killing some bush spiders here. Mix up this episode, but we do, like I said, it's going to be a heavy progression episode, uh, which most of these are. We need to start cranking out progression episodes opposed. Can I aim? Hello? Uh, we need to start pushing out progression episodes opposed to just tip episodes so i can do you know tip episodes on this actual character and uh that make a little bit more sense than me like being on my sorceress or being on some random other account i think it makes a lot more sense but that's just me so now we need to kill big bush spiders which you're gonna have to travel a little bit here we're gonna have to get on uh get on our horse and run over to this hill this is where the big ones spawn Probably should have just gone here from the beginning, but that's all right. No harm, no foul. Let's find ourselves some big bush spiders, which are uh, the ones we have to learn about anyway. So, which is really nice. Let's join this big bush spider from him. Guess I'll kill these salamanders that I have that side quest for. Don't really care about that side quest, but, you know, if we end up completing it, we go back by to turn it in. Or we can turn it in at a later date. That's always that always works out well so we've killed five of our ten bush spiders uh we haven't completed the learning yet but that is all right we'll get that done here in just just a few seconds hopefully i think i think it takes a little bit more than 10 if i remember correctly i think we have to kill like 11 or 12 it's it's not much more than 10 but it i believe it, it's more than 10. come here buddy yeah we have to kill a little bit more than 10 not I think it'll be fairly quickly here, because I think all we need is a C. But that'll allow us to complete that quest. You can see we got the one side quest done that we wanted to get done. Now we just have the, uh, until this moss stone crab back. 
let the uh, let the big spiders that we need to kill respawn because I think it's just small salamanders, not our big bush spiders that we need to kill. Another one. These these um these quests to learn about them, they're a little bit tough the very first time you go to complete the quest, but subsequent playthroughs and stuff and such will be a lot easier because you will already know them. So you'll be able to turn the quest in immediately once you come across it, because you'll already have the knowledge needed to uh, complete the quest because you'll be on a character that's already or you'll be on a family I guess that already knows about it. So there we go. We've learned about. Uh, the big bush spider. Well, I guess we didn't learn enough about the big bush spiders. C. I guess C isn't an, an, uh, a C isn't enough. Can I learn how to talk? Do we have to get it to B? Let me look at that quest. I thought it was just C. Maybe I was mistaken. Where is it? Ah, uh, learn about and tell him. Maybe I guess it's B. I thought it was just C. Most of the, most of the kill quests are just most of the kill to learn quests are just B. But, or C, but I guess this one is B. So I'm going to go ahead and clean this up, and uh, I will see you guys in a moment in the next area to talk about to talk about some more stuff that we need to talk about and get done in this episode. All right, guys, so we're at the next portion of this video where we need to look for Sarah India's quartermaster, Sarah. There is a beam of light that shows you where she is, but she is a little bit off the beaten path, so I thought I'd show you guys real quick. For that quest, it is B. You need to get your knowledge uh, to B, not C. Uh, so I apologize for that. I feel like I remember it being C on Xbox, but maybe I'm just mistaken and then thinking of something else. But starting from the area where you get this quest, you run up this hill. Take a slight left. You're going to see these two yellow markers on your map. Those are two areas to kill um, the, uh, the, the red orcs. You're going to want to head this way towards over over here and you're going to want to cut right and go right over the water here you can see the little light shining up and you'll see this cart right here this is where sarah the serendian quartermaster is she's kind of in this bush over here injured but that is where you'll find her to complete the quest and grab the next one uh, she's going to give you a kill quest to kill some ogres and so or orcs and so let's go ahead and actually do this um I haven't been showing too much in this episode, so let's have a little bit fun and kill some stuff. Let's pop that, and let's drink uh, milk tea, because why the heck not? We'll gain a little bit of XP while we, while we play uh, through this episode uh, today. So you don't need to kill regular red orcs. I will kill them in, like, bigger packs, but I want to get away from, get a little bit away from this dude. So let's uh, get on our horse and, and run over here. Take out this red orc wizard. We need to kill 10 wizards, 12 warriors, and 4 huts. So, want to get the uh, 12 warriors out of the way because they're a little bit harder to find and I have to compete with the stupid mage right now. Please just go find your own guys. Just let me slaughter these guys in peace over here. Would you just leave me alone? There's like so many spots here. Like, just go... Go find your own <laughs> red orcs to kill, please. I'm going to get this hut right here while we uh, have the chance. I always like to try to focus down one of the targets. Because as you focus down targets, like, well, f I'll kill this. I'll kill, obviously, what I see in front of me. So, like, if there's a wizard in front of me, I'm obviously not going to just, like, leave the wizard. But my point three is, is that if I get the chance to kill what I need for the kill quest, I'm going to do that because... I want to I want to whittle it down like I want to kill the warriors first because then the wizard just wizards and huts will show up on my map in yellow and then after I kill like the huts per se then only the wizards will show up on the map and it makes it really easy but we're gonna clear out the huts right here because there's actually three huts here so this is a really that's actually pretty nice didn't know there was a spot I think usually I've ran around on the other side of the road and <laughs> there's like no huts over there but there's this cluster of three down here. Which makes it very nice. I like the pickup that uh, that the uh, warrior has because it does damage to everybody else when you're slamming the one guy on the ground. You're dealing damage to all of the enemies standing in front of you that uh, kind of the ground and pound is affecting. So I actually didn't get credit for one of those huts, which that is fine. 
We still need four more warriors, five more wizards, and one more hut. You can see we got a wizard here. Go ahead and kill these guys for the experience. We, ha we do have the boost experience on. We might as well grab ourselves a little bit of extra kills just, uh, just to take full advantage of the experience. Not, uh, not really in farm mode, but uh, definitely want to get kills and make sure that we're uh, taking advantage of having a little bit of bonus XP on. It's always nice to put the, the milk teas on. You can buy them off the auction for fairly cheap. Uh, they might be a little pricey now since the game is still new, but as the game progresses, it will definitely, they'll definitely drop in price, and I always have at least the milk teas on me. Uh, there's, what is it, soothing teas, which are a little bit better. Uh, but it, it's not that much better that the price is really worth it. So I just stick with the, the milk teas. They're pretty good for the price in, with like price comparison factored in. And so that's why I tend to stick with them over the, I think it's soothing. I don't even buy it that much. So I don't remember exactly what it's called, but it's the, it's the better version. Essentially, that's all you need to know. It's the better version. Destroyed by this guy. Die, please. Or let me slam you. There we go. There we go. That's what I'm saying. I, I love that. It, you slam the guys into the ground and it does like AoE damage. It's really nice. I really like it for crowd, co crowd control in PvE. Obviously, probably not going to work all that great in PvP. I don't even know if you can grab and slam enemies in PvP like that, but um, for PvE, it's a very nice skill because obviously, when you're going around killing mob by mob, you are, you've got a lot of enemies surrounding you, and so that uh, that ground and pound attack is very nice. Uh, at the end of this episode, I will go into some skills. I know I've promised that in some other episodes with other characters and then forgot. I will not forget this time. We will, at the very end of this episode, go ahead and go over some skills. But let's go ahead and turn this quest in. I believe, mm, I believe it's the boss next, so I will show... We'll show the boss. Well, actually, no, I think it's more orc kill quest, so I'm going to kill some more orcs, and then I'll show the boss in just uh, in just a second. Alrighty, guys, let's wrap up this episode with the boss fight, and then we'll take a look at some skills. So we are level 28. Keep that in mind when we take a peek at the skills, but let's go ahead and defeat the summon ogre, or the summon org. We will do an episode similar like this to tomorrow, um, and then probably... Probably this will be kind of the similar episodes going forward for at least until like love mid for early mid 40s. Um, it'll be this format as we try to catch this character up. It's really far behind for like when the game came out to still be level 28. We're like we're like big behind. So I definitely want to do my best to catch this character up and get to a more playable state. Because right now we are we are slacking. We've put out plenty of what I think are at least good episodes of Noob's Guide, and so I'm not, like, upset that this character is underleveled, but I just feel like we need to progress it a little bit, get to a more, a better state, I think, than where we are right now. Get it to a more, uh, end game level for the PS4, which is probably 53, 54. Obviously, we're going to take it to 56, but... 53, 54 is about where we are right now, where we need to be right now, and we're at uh, 28. I'm dealing like no damage to this dude. I gotta make sure I stay healed. Making it pretty easy for me to just smack him in the bag. Gotta get this heal off before I probably get hit by that. Eh, we avoided it. Not bad, and there is the summoned org down. So we'll go ahead and grab this quest and we're going to get the new quest the world from above so we need to go to the delphi knight's castle which uh that's an interesting area fairly easy area you just kill some harpies but uh we'll cover that in the next episode let's take a peek at our skills we hit level 29 uh so quick heavy strike i think i need to pick that up i kind of like that skill that's hold uh, r1 and r2 let's gotta pick that up uh that's well mounted Charging strike after first char- eh, I don't like charging slash. Uh, shield strike. Do use that a fair amount, so I'm going to pick that up, and I'll pick up the third one as well. Upper shield strike. Ooh, that's pretty nice. If I added that, I'll probably grab that one later on, 
maybe not right now, but I'll pick that up uh, at a later time. Uh, counter 2, we do use that... Um, we do use that a little bit. Whirlwind Slash, this is a new one. Back R2, we're going to pick that one up. Looks like one that I probably could use. Uh, shield charge. I like that one. We're gonna pick. Well, I have to be in guard. How often do I go into guard? I don't know about that one. Uh, charging thrust. I do use that one a fair amount, so I'm gonna pick that up. Uh, ground roar. I use that, so I want to pick that up. We got 47 left. Ground slash. We also use that a decent amount. So now it's kind of. What do we want to do? Uh. I might go ahead and pick up Meditation, but I don't know. That's X and L2 for Meditation. I don't know about that. Charge, Shield Strike. I do kind of like that, so I'm going to pick that up. Try to incorporate that a little bit. Forward Slash. I want to pick up Forward Slash 3 as well. Leaves up with 18 skill points. I'm going to hold on to the rest, I think, and just uh, see where we go from there, but... Did add a little bit of different stuff here, more or better stuff like that right there. That looks like a nice skill to go from pack to pack. And even when it, you don't have the follow-up, you still have the uh, spinning slash, so you don't lose that skill completely while it's on recharge, so that's really nice. I like the skills that we picked up. Not the, not the flashiest of stuff yet, but uh, for level 21, I do like where we are. Uh, hopefully, let's see, what was that? I'll be... Yeah, not, not, not bad attacks. I, li I still like the, the charging, uh, that charging ability. I need to incorporate that a little bit more. But uh, with anything, going to be trial trial and error and uh, figuring out what works best for me um, before we hit level 56. And we have to either pay for skill reset or we have to do the quest for skill reset. I don't actually know if the skill reset quest is in the game yet, but there is one on Xbox that you can do. Uh, so obviously it'll be coming to PlayStation eventually. But I'm going to head over to the Delphi Night Castle, and that's where we'll start the next episode. So hope you all enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys then. Peace.